guys, it is Italis Lenny, and today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. Today we are going to be turning Pokemon into Animal Crossing villagers. But before we begin, I would just like to say that I was actually inspired by two other creators when doing this. I was inspired by the video both Moxie2D and Verney Green made. So before you continue this video, you should probably check their videos out first, since their videos are what gave me the idea in the first place, and their videos are pretty good, and the Animal Crossing villagers they come up with are pretty good too. So yeah, with that out of the way, let me set up some rules or just give y'all some information in general. There are a lot of different animal villager species, just like how there are a bunch of different Pokemon. So what I'm going to try to do is randomize a few Pokemon and then put them into one of the animal villager species that I feel like suits them most, and then go off from there. So yeah. Also, I would like to point out that there are actually a bunch of personalities along with Animal Crossing villagers too, and the three Pokemon I have generated are Slurpuff, Jolteon, and I don't even know how to say that Pokemon's name properly since I've literally never heard it before, but for the rest of the video, I'm just going to call it Behem. I started off with doing Behem first since I thought that it would be the most difficult, and I also decided to make it an octopus slash squid because Behem is supposed to be very alien-like, and there are a bunch of people who say that those animals are also very alien-like. Along with that, I just feel like an octopus would suit him the most, considering that Behem's hands kind of remind me of tentacles. A few things that I did find troubling, however, was trying to get all the markings on Behem's head to fit on the Animal Crossing villager or translate into the soil, especially since the Animal Crossing villager has a very small rounded head, while Behem has a very unique head shape. I also had trouble making the three colors on its little hand translate along with the other browns, since, you know, it kind of clashed a bit, but in the end, it looks all fine to me. So, we got over those problems fairly quickly. And I did take some creative liberties as well. For example, I made his pupils way bigger than they normally are, and I also decided to add two extra colors into the pupils themselves, which it's not like that at all in the original. I also had to remove certain head markings because, like I said earlier, they all won't fit on the head, so I tried to do best with what I could. And the three different colors that um, Behem had on his hands also went to his tentacles as well. So, yeah. And in the end, I also decided to give everybody purple shading and purple highlighting using the same color, but having different layer effects. Also, Behem's villager outfit is supposed to be exactly like his body, except with slightly different colors, and, you know, obvious changes for proportions. And with that, the drawing itself is finally done. Behem is a lazy male villager, and he was born on September 4th. I chose September 4th because it was just random. And his catchphrase is beepy because, you know, alien. Beep, boop, bibbity bop, boop, boop, buttons, stuff like that. Also, Behem, beep, he. Yeah, I just felt like it suited him. And without further ado, let's move on to Slurpuff. When it comes to Slurpuff, I actually had a bunch of trouble getting the dog silhouette shape, but in the end, I think it looks good enough to pass as a villager. Also, the colors looked a little bit weird, even though I literally just color picked them off the art itself for the Pokemon. And I also think out of all the villager Pokemon I did today that this one was the weakest in terms of design and, you know, effort and all that stuff. But she still turned out very cute and the eyes are accurate to the original, so props to that, I guess. The villager does look quite a bit like Slurpuff as it's supposed to, but I guess that since I don't really care about Slurpuff and I think it looks kind of weird that the villager turns out looking weird for me too, but I hope Slurpuff fans end up liking the villager. I also decided that the cherry would be melted into Slurpuff's fur since I didn't want to add any normal, you know, shapes to the creature's silhouette, aside from the cloves, obviously, because when it comes to Animal Crossing villager characters, all of them have the same silhouette when it comes to each animal species, but yet all the designs are so varied and some characters are hated while others are loved. So I wanted to keep going with that. 
And honestly, I feel like Slurpuff is just the meringue of the dogs. So yeah, with that, let's talk about the character profile. Slurpuff is a peppy female. She was born January 10th because I just felt like a random date would do. And her catchphrase is Slurfy because, you know, Slurpuff, Slurfy. Let's have a Slurfy, everybody. Come on, get out your phones. Let's have a Slurfy. Or maybe you're just going out to, like, a restaurant and you ask the server for a McSlurfy instead of a McFlurry. I don't know, there's a bunch of explanations for the catchphrase, but let's move on to Jolteon since all the evolutions are fairly popular anyway. I decided to make Jolteon a wolf builder type since it suits his silhouette very well. And I would also just like to say that all the evolutions look like a mixture between the feline family and the canine family. But for simplicity, I'm just going to say that they're some type of small mammal family instead of just saying, oh, this one looks like a cat, that one looks like a fox, that one looks like a jackal. Because honestly, the evolutions could be anything, and we already know that Eevee itself is a fox-based creature. But regardless, let's talk about Jolteon itself. Jolteon's design was extremely easy to come up with and translate into Animal Crossing. The only thing I had to do was execute it, and it turned out very well. Well, in my opinion, that is. Regardless though, I decided to keep the jagged tail from Jolteon onto the wolf silhouette because I felt like it wouldn't mess with the wolf silhouette that much anyway. And I also decided to make Jolteon's little fluff, you know, thing into part of his outfit. You know, it's sewn onto the outfit. It's like a very fancy neck piece. And I also decided to make his outfit purple to match with his eyes and his inner ear things. So, yeah, the design came along very well. And when it came to the eyes, I think that's what put this all together and, you know, made it one good piece. I really like the eyes. And here he is, completely finished in all his glory. Jolteon, a jock male villager. He was born June the 1st because... I chose a random date again, and his catchphrase is Thunder, because you can only get Jolteon through the Thunderstone, and he's an electric type, and I'm pretty sure he can use the Pokemon move Thunder. So yeah, as generic as it is, it suits him, and you can't deny that. And I just think this is very cute, and it's the best one I did in all of today. It not only looks like the Pokemon that it's supposed to, but it could also look very well as an Animal Crossing villager like an actual one and i just really like it so i might do another one of these when i feel like it and if you guys feel like seeing another one of these as well but anyway have a good day morning night whatever time it is when you're watching this and just have a good time goodbye guys and i'll see you in 2021